you mentioned that Vince McMahon had asked you about them to kind of boost up the rock and wrestling thing. Right. Um, do you remember experiences with the hawk and animal? I know animal passed away recently. That's why I wanted to ask. I only wrestled these guys. I think it was only one time, and it was in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Flair and myself. They brought him in off Atlanta TV, and they were over. But you know, all they all they really knew is how to. It was all offense with them. They didn't know how to sell or put a match together. They just wanted to come out and beat us, and slam us, and. But you know, I, I had fun with them. I I knew how to wrestle, so I took took them off their feet. I leg dive them and stuff, and they didn't know what they were like a turtle on his back. Going, what do I do now? You know, they did not know how to wrestle. I became Hawk's good friend in Florida because he moved down to Florida and fell in love with some gymnast, Dale, hell of a girl. He he uh, he told me he didn't. He wanted me to teach him how to put a couple of arm holds on like a wrist a wrist lock or a, a he said he didn't know any holds so I showed him out on the beach so here's this hold and here's this he don't he really knew the headlock and then he it was like I said it was all offense he just picked guys up and slammed them and that's how Ole Ole Anderson the booker in Atlanta on TBS he got those guys over because they just they didn't sell they went out and beat the hell of the guys and four minutes and uh you know so when i took them out to feed you know they didn't know what they were doing you and hulk hogan have a great history from before the wwf do you remember when you guys first met hogan yeah uh i think it was uh, the 84 run that i had in new york after i finally had the dog collar match at piper 83 that was the end of 83 and 84 i went to new york and uh, and that's when I met Hogan, and uh, we just liked each other. And he said, you know, I met him a couple times when I was wrestling in Florida, when he was still playing the guitar at a band. I met him there. So we all we always, he's a mellow guy, and he likes to smoke the weed, and he don't like getting drunk and crazy and all that. Uh, just a real nice guy, Florida boy. Uh, down to earth, so I got along with that type. And my wife, Julie, who I'm still married to now, my wife, beautiful wife, Julie, and Linda became really good friends. So. Then we ended up moving to Florida, and everybody, be, you know, he had his parties once a month with all the guys. It seemed like everybody migrated to Florida back then because it was easy to get to New York or wherever it had a great airport but you could be in new york in two hours and wrestle i used to fly home and wrestle in the garden and get a midnight flight home back to tampa back when we had people's express do you remember that yeah <laughs> they had midnight and one o'clock flights to tampa wow and they were empty but they, they ended up filling them up coming back i'm sure but it was it was fun being able to get out but so we, I consider him one of my my best friends in the business. A lot of and, and there's Tito Santana and there's Ronnie Garvin, and, and both the Bulldogs that they were still alive. And Brutus, you know, Brutus is is a brother, you know, and uh, we always got along. So. You're such an integral part of the beginning of the Hulkamania era, too, because mm -hmm. I remember the one from the Spectrum. That was even on one of the best of Hulk Hogan tapes years later that they yeah. showed. It didn't seem to follow the same formula. I watched that. that just the other day. I forgot all about it and was on YouTube, so I just watched it. And it was it went 25 minutes, and he was up, down, he sold. It, it was like a it wasn't his typical match, because usually he just beats the guys up and boom. But for me... You know, we had a real competitive match. Even though I'm smaller than him, I stuck to, stuck up to him. It's not about being big, you know. The best weight and the best size to be as a wrestler, you know, I was six foot or six one and around 240, 250 pounds. That way I can wrestle small guys or I can wrestle big guys like Hogan or Andre. That was the, the weight, that was the ideal weight and size to be so you could work with everybody.